everybody snores at some point in their life snores can range from mild to the ones that sound like a jet engine firing up but can snores tell us something about the health of the person and can ignoring snores be really dangerous for us people have been using a lot of different remedies over the ages to cure snoring these remedies or cures range from leather masks which cover the face to cannon balls which are tied to the back of the person to electronic devices which give out a electric signal or electric shock when they detect snoring but none of these cures or remedies actually treat snoring instead they just disturb the sleep of the person which can be even more dangerous because the person does not get enough good quality rest so before we move ahead let's try to first understand why do we snore and why ignoring snores can be really dangerous all kinds of snores from the ones which are really mild to the ones which are really annoying originate from our respiratory tract the respiratory tract of our body is responsible for inhaling and exhaling the air the entire respiratory tract is lined up with soft tissues and when we are about to enter into sleep the respiratory tract relaxes because of this the muscles of our respiratory tract tend to constrict and because of this the passageway of our respiratory tract becomes narrower now once the passageway of our respiratory tract becomes narrow the air pressure inside the respiratory tract increases because the air now has to pass through a narrower passage now once the air starts moving inside this narrow passage because of the increased air pressure the soft tissues lining our respiratory tract start to vibrate and this vibration causes snoring more the vibration of soft tissues lining our respiratory tract greater is the snoring but all of this sounds normal so when does snoring actually becomes a problem well loud chronic snoring is a problem and it is usually caused by obstructive sleep apnea according to certain estimates around 25% of the entire adult population of our earth suffers from snoring and what's alarming is that almost 80% of this population is unaware of it which can be really dangerous because snoring can actually lead to lot of cardiovascular problems obstructive sleep apnea happens because the respiratory tract of our body gets obstructed by something external this can be some muscle or some tissue of your body because of this external obstruction the respiratory tract becomes even more narrower and there is an increased pressure inside the respiratory tract because of this increased pressure the amount of oxygen which is supposed to reach various organs of our body decreases this puts a lot of pressure on our heart to pump extra blood so that adequate amounts of oxygen can reach our organs and this increased pressure can lead to lot of cardiovascular problems it can even lead to heart attacks obstructive sleep apnea can also lead to chronic fatigue and headaches because you are not able to get adequate amount of rest but what actually causes sleep apnea well there can be a number of factors which lead to obstructive sleep apnea features such as enlarged tongue thicker neck or smaller jaw can all lead to obstructive sleep apnea along with this certain other factors such as consumption of alcohol just before sleeping can also lead to obstructive sleep apnea because alcohol leads to excessive relaxation because of which the muscles of our respiratory tract tend to constrict a lot more leading to a bigger obstruction in the passage of air also another major factor which leads to obstructive sleep apnea is weight gain when the weight of a person increases quite a bit then correspondingly the weight of their muscles and tissues and their size also increases this leads to a bigger chance of obstruction of respiratory tract and that's why weight reduction is considered one of the best ways of alleviating the problem of obstructive sleep apnea besides this certain behavioral changes such as lesser consumption of alcohol before going to sleep is also advised by doctors people with milder conditions are usually told to do certain exercises of their neck and throat 
which can actually help them in alleviating the problem of snoring. But for people who have a more significant problem of snoring, certain devices which can pass a steady stream of pressurized air through the respiratory tract to keep it open or even surgeries are recommended. So even though snoring might seem silly, but really intense ones need doctor's attention and you should not be ignoring snoring. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and stay curious.